And good evening to you. I'm Rob Schmidt here in New York and breaking news tonight on Newsmax. The situation uh, is getting very tense tonight. Uh, as you take a look at your screen, uh, we've got the United Nations, which is assembled right now on the left. And on the right, you've got Kiev, Ukraine, which is very quiet at five o'clock in the morning there on the western end of Ukraine, closer to the western end of Ukraine. Uh, to the east, though, it appears there is a much different story in that massive country. Reports that uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is either imminent, if not already underway. Now, Vladimir Putin, uh, just very uh, not too long ago, uh, has put out a statement in Russian, obviously, but the statement indicating, I've made the decision to conduct a special military operation, Putin saying. Our analysis has concluded that our confrontation with these Ukrainian forces is inevitable. That from the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Uh, you see here on the screen, this meeting with the UN on the left uh, was something that was requested by Ukraine. Uh, this is something that was going to happen either way. And it's interesting, this meeting started up right as these reports started coming in about what is happening in Ukraine tonight and, and what we're hearing tonight. Uh, and it sounds like this is perhaps the beginning of a more full invasion of that country. Uh, we can pull up a live picture of the airspace over the country. That begins to tell the story of what we're seeing tonight. And you can see, uh, if you can tell, you see the UKRN, the small yellow letters there, that's Ukraine. And you notice, you know, the planes are all white. There's no planes over Ukraine tonight. The green is just weather, that's just rain. You can ignore that. There's no flights over Ukraine. The airspace has been closed, was closed. Uh, a couple hours ago, I believe at the direction of the Russians, uh, as a matter of fact, no flights over that country, which is something that you might expect to see uh, just before a war would take place because you don't want to shoot down any civilian aircraft coming from other countries. And before you know it, you could have a real mess. Earlier this evening, Secretary of State Antony Blinken did indicate uh, in an interview with Lester Holt the belief that Russia would likely invade Ukraine tonight. And then he kind of went back on it a little bit and there was a back and forth there, but the indication was made. Uh, as we continue to watch, we've got Ireland speaking at the UN now and they've been going around. The uh, United uh, Kingdom spoke for a second, France spoke for a second, everybody trying to condemn Putin. We've uh, seen that there are reports uh, of possible, possible, I should say, from the Daily Mail, explosions happening at a Ukrainian port city called Mariupol. And if we pull up a map on the screen, I can show you where that is. And again, all of this is happening to the east. So look to the right side of Ukraine there. You see Donetsk, uh, and that's the Donbas right there. That's the region where this uh, invasion began, where Russia first moved in, and the United States had really no answer to that until Germany said that they were going to cut off the, the pipeline between Russia and Germany. Mariupol is to the south right there. If you look along the water there, that's where Mariupol would be, just straight south of Donetsk on the water. And there are reports that there are explosions there uh, at this very early morning hour, early Thursday morning in Ukraine. And we've had uh, we've seen on Twitter, Senator Marco Rubio uh, tweeted out just a little bit ago that he believes that the invasion has begun. Uh, he talked about how it had, it had started with some very severe um, uh, electrical and taking down websites, uh, cyber attacks, things of that matter. Uh, he had seen evidence of that, and he says that's how it's going to begin, and then they're going to start moving in. They want to disable Ukraine's ability to talk to its people, to move people around. Once they take out with all that cyber, you talk. we talk all the time about the importance of cyber, how important it is. We're going to see just how important it is in an actual military operation here tonight. It does appear that way.